So this is a video for asynchronous um, class on Friday, October 30th. A um, couple of things. The primary objective is that you have your water quality survey solutions completed and that you submit the survey to the Agency of Natural Resources. Just a reminder, you do not need to give any of your personal information. It can be submitted anonymously. Um, if you have any questions about how you should go about submitting this survey, please let me know. Additionally, excuse me, I just want to talk about the two questions and the two things that you're filling out on this assessment. Just a reminder that you are justifying the amount of expenditure on each of the different sectors of phosphate by really using your Lake Champlain solutions. Um, I had talked about yesterday in class that you would really want to use data regarding the problem in the section for what to help you start thinking about the severity of each problem to help guide whether you allot a lot or um, allocate a lot or not a lot of money, but also to use things related to the costs and the feasibilities and the trade-offs to really differentiate and justify different types of solutions within each type of sector but also to really find that nuanced um, sort of distinguished solutions. What is the optimal solution for agriculture given this amount of money that you're spending on it and how severe you think the problem is? Um, furthermore, in the comment section on the first question, you're really going to be writing a short paragraph where you identify a really specific problem and source of phosphate. You're going to list some supporting facts to the Agency of Natural Resources and finally, what is your proposed solution in terms of what does it do, why is it practical, and why might it be better than other solutions? The second question really looks at this life cycle of clean water projects um, in terms of innovation leading to planning, sort of thinking about where are we going to implement projects. Education, how do we outreach to different types of people and organizations to help them understand the problems and solutions? The development in terms of thinking about where we place projects and what they're meant to do. Designing and implementing them to be actually feasible and actually solving the problem. And then sort of the operation and monitoring. We build the projects, we create the projects, and we make sure that they're working. I'm not expecting you to list specific facts or data to justify your thoughts on each of these. But I do want you to think about, okay, let's say I allocated 25% to agriculture. Is there a specific type of project that I think would be really useful for agriculture? Maybe it's operation. Maybe it's innovation. What is your thoughts on why each of these is really important? And finally, in the comment section below on your survey, and right here, you're going to write a brief paragraph as to why you think your solution that you're going to write about right here would best be delivered or optimized with one of the categories above. So if you're proposing a manure injector site um, or a manure injection for farms in Addison County, which of these six categories, I'm sorry, do you think would be best for achieving that solution? Now, I have posted in week seven, module 18 and 19 notes. Um, we're going to be covering them next week. Um, I'm going to be making this due for the second lesson of the week, so Thursday and Friday, but you can get a head start on these notes. Um, Ideally, I would start off with just module 18 notes, which would be questions 1, 2, 3, and 4. Module 19 starts here. And there's also an Ed Puzzle that will be um, due as well next week that you can take a look at. Um, it is a bit longer. There are a few more questions, but it is a really involved video that hopefully will give you a lot of good information to help supplement your um, learning. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please contact me. Please email me. I'm here to help. Thank you.